Hello, North Dakota. This is Poppy with the NDDOT. Welcome back to the Cone Zone. Did you know that North Dakota is home to over 15 colleges and universities? As parents and students pack up to head back to school, we're helping you plan your road trip. Starting near Bismarck State College and the University of Mary, improvements to the Grant Marsh Bridge on Interstate 94 are making great progress. Expect traffic patterns to change again before the project reaches completion in October. Watch for signs and workers on site. If you're making your way to Sitting Bull College in Fort Yates, be mindful of construction underway on a roundabout installation at the intersection of Highway 24 and BIA 31. This new traffic pattern will improve safety and traffic flow. Out west, near Kildeer, northbound Highway 22 is down to one lane as crews make pavement improvements. Expect some delays. Paving operations are also taking place along Highway 23 near Nuweta Hidatsa Sanish College. Watch for flaggers, equipment, and workers on the road. Minot State University students traveling Highway 2 will find head-to-head -head traffic on the eastbound lanes. Crews are repairing a culvert, which is a crucial component of the stormwater drainage system. In Grand Forks, crews are making repairs to Interstate 29 near the Highway 2 junction. The right lanes in both directions are closed. And in the Fargo District, more lane closures are impacting I-29, near Hillsboro, where crews are making improvements to the median crossover. Travel speeds have also been reduced on I-94 near the Lynchburg Interchange at exit 328. You can use the ND Roads app to check for new detour routes posted as construction is underway. We want to wish all students, parents, educators, and administrative staff a happy back-to-school season. May your transition back be as smooth as the freshly paved road. Until next time.